Happy Unboxing Day! At least that's what it should be, because today we're gonna be bringing you guys three different unboxings of the brand new RTX 2080 series. We're gonna show you two different 2080s and a single 2080 Ti. Now, the 2080 Ti, that's what I have right here in front of me. This is the Founders Edition. Yep, this is that expensive card that's about 1300 bucks, but it is just decked out with features, and that's hence why it's going to be the most expensive card that's out there at the moment. Now, I can't bring you guys any of the performance numbers yet. I've said it before, I've said it again, it's still under NDA, so when the NDA lifts on this card, I will bring all those numbers to you, and then we can really, you know, see what this card does differently in the previous generation card. Now, there's a lot more under the hood of this particular card that I'd like to get into because, you know, RTX, you know, that alone is like is its own complete different thing. Inside this card, there's 78 of the RTX ops. Now, how exactly these work and everything, I don't know yet. Still haven't really got a briefing. The information should be available pretty soon so we can know exactly how, how they work and all that good stuff. But uh, for now, we're gonna actually bring you the unboxing, take the first look and see well, what the Founders Edition is really just all about as far as the specs go. So let's jump right in. Um, you can see this thing's brand new. It came in actually a completely different type of sealed package than they've come before. So before we zoom in and all that stuff, let's just go ahead and uh, pull this particular card out and take a look at it. So this is just the box. There's really not much to the box like any box. These boxes are really simple. I mean, I could spin it around, but there's nothing on it. It just says it is the RTX 2080 Ti. That's what it says, that's what it is, that's what's in the box. So let's go ahead and let's pop the cap off. Underneath, nice, beautiful card. Lovely, shiny new card. I gotta tell you guys, man, this card is heavy. <laughs> this is no lightweight card. Just taking it right out of the package, holy moly. Um, let's see, what else comes in here? I got a little thing that pulls out right here. Let's get to that really quick. Before we get to the card, let's just see what all the accessories are. Hopefully we'll see like an NV link or something in here. We do see an adapter. We also see two different books for information. So if you want to check out some information that's in there, you guys can do so. It's probably just going to be telling you like how to install your car and basic stuff like that, which I think that most of my viewers already know how to do. So let's get this stuff out of the way. That's pretty much all that comes in the box other than the card. So. One thing you guys are gonna notice right at the bat is that the anti-static bag, even though this is kind of irrelevant, is totally different than any other anti-static bag I've ever seen on any car. It's really kind of weird. Usually the anti-static bag is something you easily get off. This particular one though is like, nope, gotta kind of rip me and take me off, and then after that you don't really have an anti-static bag. But there we go. You guys see also, these guys have now included a complete back plate. Solid back plate all the way across the car. It's also, Kind of feels like a mixture between metal and plastic. It has kind of an interesting kind of feel to it. So we'll start off with the back of the car, which is something different. Now, this card has 4,352 CUDA cores underneath it. Like I said, it has 78 of the RTX ops. It's 76 in the non-Founders edition. Um, the base clock on this card is 1350, and it has a boost of 1635 megahertz. So a really nice boost clock. You guys can see there are two individual fans and they're totally different than the other designs that we've seen. The other blower design just had one particular fan. Now we're seeing two. This card features a 352-bit memory interface. The memory speed is 14 gigabytes per second. Pretty fast stuff. Um, it's kind of interesting that they have a 352-bit memory interface. I remember back in the day, 512 and people were complaining. Now we've seen the number actually go down and the cards are even faster. The memory balance in this card is 616 gigabytes a second, so everything on paper looks like this is gonna be one really fast card. I'll flip it around to the side real quick, show you guys the side of the card. Now, it's recommended that you have a 650 watt power supply. The card takes 260 watts through its two eight pin power connectors, so that's what's you know the, gonna be the absolute minimum amount of power that the card's gonna wanna suck up, so you wanna make sure you have a power supply that's going to comply within that. You guys will also know that SLI is completely different now. It's gonna be done through what's called the NV Link. So it'll be a different type of connection all the way around. You can see that it looks totally different than the standard SLI connection. And that's because it's gonna have much, much higher transfer speeds. Hopefully we'll see that SLI gets new life breathed back into it and that these guys work with game developers to make sure SLI is in almost every game that we can see. So it makes it worth our while to buy two cards to do SLI. 
Another interesting thing about the rear outputs is the color. I mean, have you guys ever seen one that's colored black before? I have, and it's kind of cool. And I mean, it is in the back of the system. So once again, it's kind of, you know, irrelevant, but still it's kind of cool looking. I like it. There's also a USB-C connection, one HDMI and three display ports, all with the latest technology. Last but not least, in the bottom of the card, you really can't see anything. It's really plain. There's just the PCIe, and that's pretty much it. Um, honestly, you can't really see anything inside this card, which is kind of crazy. All the other cards that we're going to be looking at that are aftermarket, you can actually see the components underneath their cooling apparatus. But NVIDIA has this card completely covered up, which, if the design is right, will actually help contain the heat and help it all be dissipated out with those fans and outside the card to make sure this card runs cool. Because let's just face it, being completely sealed, it may may have the potential to run a little hot. Hopefully it does not though. If you're wondering if this card will fit in your system, well, the length of the card is 10.5 inches or 266.74 millimeters. And the height of the card is 4.5 inches or 115.7 millimeters. Obviously the width of the card, it's a two slot design. So it's gonna be just like all the other cards out there. And it's gonna take up two slots in your system. Make sure you have the room. All right, so there you have it, man. All of the unboxing and the cool first looks of this brand new RTX 2080 Ti card. Obviously, it's a very expensive card, lots of controversy. We have to do the full test and get the scores and see how those scores actually balance out in a dollar dollar to amount. I mean, let's just face it, if you know, all the rumors, you know, are untrue and this card happens to be, you know, just like super duper faster than the old card and it's like so much faster that you'd be like, oh my God, it's really worth my money. I'm hoping it goes that direction direction i don't know for sure um stick around on the 19th i'll be able to show you guys all the final results of this stuff it's a really nice looking card i really like the back plate um the new nv link is going to be pretty interesting as well i have two cards so i'll be able to bring you guys an sli review as well so yeah thumbs up on that so until then though i'm elric you guys have been watching tech tomorrow we'll have a link down below for more information about this particular car if you want to get one for yourself and uh that's it because stay tuned we got one more card